Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5064081 on your Windows 11 computer. Now, the first step is to pause and restart the update. So over here, you can see pause, click on pause. And once you hit pause, this may take some time. And once the update is paused, now you hit resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start or restart app readiness service. Now for this type in services in window search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart or start. Now find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down. Here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click. Click on Start or Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Again, set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now with this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now you can try to update and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB. KB. 5060-4081 and then click on search over here. Now over here, first of all, uh, please ignore, uh, yeah. First of all, check which version you have. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver in Windows search box and then click on Winver. Now in my case, it's version 24H2. So if you have version 24H2, let me check. Mm, no, this one. Yeah, version 24H2. Uh, so Windows 11 and check what kind of system you have. So you can go to Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see X64 bit operating system so for me it's a uh, windows 11 version 24h2 for x64 based system so this is the right one for me now click on download now similarly if you have version uh, like 25h2 so for you it's windows 11 version 24 25h2 x64 based system so whichever version you have you have to click on that particular version and click on download over here and then you will see KB5064081. Click on it. And then you can install this update manually. Once the download is complete, click on this file. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, uh, once this is done, click on it, install the update, and then restart. Just follow the on screen instruction. And then once this is done, restart your computer and then check. Now, the next step is to use option fix problem using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here go to recovery option over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now now this process will take some time and once this is done you can check still not working in that case you can reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then open notepad in computer open notepad paste all the command over here and then go to file click on save as you can set it to desktop name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files now click on save close this now go to desktop here you can see wx wufix bat file make a right click and then click on 
run as administrator make sure that you open this as an administrator only click on yes to allow and let uh, let the process complete first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans uh, so the scan process will take some time so if you receive this prompt uh, for yes or no type in y and then hit the entry key and here we have couple of scans so if you check the command here you can see there are so many scans so let these scans complete once the scan is complete it will start all the windows update services and then once this is done it will close automatically or it will take some time and once this is done once this is complete now restart your computer and after the system restart uh, you can check still not working uh, the last step is to use media creation tool now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file just once the download is complete click on this file run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete uh, click on finish option once you click on finish let this close automatically and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file then make a double click on setup file run this setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next and accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete this process will take some time and once the installation is complete uh, you can restart it log into your computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows computer i was running so many scans and i was stopping those windows update uh, services so that's why it's stuck so it will install so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel